the instrument that we have is the, the thermoscientific DXRXI Raman Imaging Microscope, which allows customers to image uh, distributions of different components in their materials, look at molecular changes in materials, and it was launched last year at PitCon. Specifically, what we're gonna be talking about today is looking at applications related to lithium ion batteries. We could analyze lithium ion battery components already unused in the material. So for looking at uh, cathodes and anode materials, we could image those as well. But to allow those researchers that are looking at lithium ion batteries to get more out of their analysis, they wanna look at the, the materials after they've been used in batteries. So after the lithium ion batteries have gone through multiple charge and discharge cycles. The problem with it, with just doing that, is once you've gone through these charge and discharge cycles with the batteries, if you try to de disassemble them, if you disassemble them in air, then those either react badly with air or they change in air. Typically what they do is they disassemble them in something like a glove box under an inert atmosphere so there isn't a change. They want to keep it in the same state it was in the battery when it, when it finished up. And so what we first developed is this air sensitive cell. They can take the cell into the glove box, take the battery component in, mount it inside the cell itself, and then it can seal the cell up and then bring it out. And it maintains then the inert atmosphere in the cell and then it can go into the instrument and then they can benefit from doing the Raman imaging. They can look at changes in molecular structure that have happened during this charge and discharge cycle of the cell. The other part that we have is a device created by L-Cell, which is essentially, it's an electrochemical cell. It allows the users to build essentially a battery inside here. And then it has a very small window. So once they've built up their cell, then they can do the charge and discharge cycles of the cell, and they can observe the molecular changes as they're happening in the cell, as opposed to waiting until after it's done and having to disassemble it to do that. So they can watch it, and then they can you know, go through a charge cycle look at it, what changes in there, and a discharge cycle, and look at it that way. So they can build the battery and test the battery and get the Raman imaging data as well on what's going on in terms of the changes in molecular structure that happen during that charge and discharge cycle. People are very happy, very interested in, in looking at that, particularly with the air sensitive one, because it's gonna have probably more applications beyond just the batteries that anybody with air sensitive materials can run those with the, in terms of ROM and imaging as well. But it's also going to allow people doing lithium ion battery research to actually be able to use this instrument for their purposes that they really need. You can learn more at thermoscientific.com slash ROM.